learning and education became one of the main challenges of companies today. I'm very glad to meet today Arno Vandenhoff, Managing Director at the Benelux area of Jungle Map, a very cool company that developed a great idea exactly to solve this issue. Tell me a little bit about your company. Well, Jungle Map is a company um, focusing on the learning and the effect of learning. Um, we see that a lot of uh, healthcare organizations struggle to find the time to let people to really dive into uh, security and privacy. And what we see is that they are struggling to find the time and the opportunity to do so. And with our method, for three minutes, you can do a uh, nano learning. It really helps to uh, avoid the calendar wars. That is helping them really uh, to, uh, to, to find the time and also to, uh, to do that in between their their day-to-day -day business and, and jobs and, uh, well, the, the time between patients, basically. So tell us a little bit. Every company can build their own models and then the employees are receiving an email and they need to dedicate only three minutes. How exactly this is working? Yes, so three-minute lessons. Uh, we distribute them uh, every uh, other week, basically, during the year. So what we actually do is we make uh, a, a repetition in the, um, in the lessons and that helps enormously in remembering what you've learned. Because did you know that if you learn something, that it, in one day, you, only, you already forget 20%, and in three days, you can only remember 60% of what you've learned. Unfortunately, I know. This is the reason why I don't speak <laughs> French anymore. <Okay. laughs> so um, if you have learned something and you haven't repeated it in a week, you forget it. And why the three minutes? Three minutes is because our attention span is basically just three minutes. So these days where we are on our phones, browsing through our timeline on social media, we actually don't have the, the attention anymore for uh, reading a good book or doing a study. Arno, I was fascinated to learn that you are working in the education domain. Maybe you can share with me what kind of trends do you see in the learning and education domain? What I see is that a lot of people actually are uh, struggling to learn new things. And the biggest trends I see is that um, it, information becomes uh, more uh, fragmented. I, I think it's one of the biggest challenges uh, of today is that people um, struggle to learn new things. And what we have to do as educators, as teachers, is to make the information as uh, light and as digestible as possible. What we do is by creating lessons not longer than three minutes, we, uh, we make it very easy for them to, uh, to adopt new information. And that's very important when it comes to privacy and security because privacy and security are typically um, fields of expertise that is, that's very complicated. How to recognize a phishing email. A lot of people struggle with that. How to, uh, well, work with your uh, passwords, for instance. Very difficult. A lot of people struggle with that. The most used password is one, two, three, four, five, six, which is, well, not that very clever because that helps a lot in well, cracking your, uh, your account, basically. So we need to educate employees to use strong passwords. Passwords don't uh, reuse them. Uh, we need to help them uh, in um, uh, facilitate them um, in using good password managers. This is how it looks like when somebody is receiving a lesson in his email box. And you can see that this is um, basically an email um, with a button that says start the lesson. And if you do that, you get into this environment where you can actually see uh, um, a little bit of text uh, and then a nice picture there. And of course you can see your little dots and these little dots, you can scroll through the lesson. And this lesson only lasts for three minutes. So it's very, very short. Arno, I'm curious if you can share with me a professional tip that you would offer to a privacy and security officer who's now thinking to develop an educational module for their workers in order to transfer some important regulations or know-how. What kind of tip would you offer them? Lower the threshold. Make it as easy and accessible as possible for uh, employees to do, to follow, and uh, also a little bit fun. That's very important. 
So people, uh, it's easy for them to learn when the, the content is funny, right? It must be a little bit funny. That's good. Even when it's privacy and uh, security regulation, which is totally boring? Uh, yeah, that's why it's very important to make a little bit of fun because everyone is bored out otherwise. Here you go. There's a challenge. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.